raising the profile of risk is a, is a title, a theme of this year's event. Yeah. How can risk managers really do that within a business? Because it's obviously crucial. Well, I think every business is different yeah. in the dynamics. But basically, to me, a risk manager needs to be two things. He needs to be knowledgeable about the subject, but most importantly, he needs to be a good communicator. So, to me, I think that you've got to know the business, and that means you've got to get involved in the business, which means talking to people at the shop floor level, the people actually at the shop end, they know the risks, they know what they encounter every day, and raising their awareness. At the same time, you've got to raise the awareness at the board level. So that means telling a story, painting a picture, putting things into perspective. People don't want technical knowledge, jargon, those sort of things. What they want is explain to me the scenario that might happen. How could that happen? Oh, what are the major features of that? And if you get it top end and bottom end, you'll get the real problem, which is the middle management. Because the middle management think they control everything and know everything. In practice, they're the problem because they need to listen to the people at the bottom who are raising the profile of the issues they face, and they need to listen to the top, which is the culture. So raising the profile of risk is really more raising understanding and awareness within the business and, and, and being the communicator between all levels. To me it is, yes. It, it's making everybody in the business a risk manager. I mean, we're all risk managers here. None of us this morning didn't look out the window and say, is it going to rain? Do I need a coat? It's instinctive. We manage the risks. People don't tell us to wear an umbrella, take an umbrella or wear a coat if it's going to rain. It's instinctive. But people do need to remind us of the consequences. If you're going to a job interview and you're soaked, it's a bigger consequence than if you're just going to the shops. So in that sort of business context, people know these risks. They need to be raised in terms of the awareness of what is the most senior risk, what's the consequence, what are the knock-on consequences of those consequences. Do you think, uh, as the risk landscape is changing, the role of the risk professional is also changing within that as well? Well, I think there are two types of risk professional. I think there are the specialists, and you'll always have the specialists. You will always have the IT security expert, and that's going to become a more uh, central theme, I think, with technology that goes on. And then you, need, you also need the generalist, <coughs> who has to put these things into context, and perspective as to what's the most important. And you'll need people who have both those skills, because as well as a general risk manager, you also need to have a specialism depending on your industry.